Hey guys, Alex Cyclist here with a update to my Florida vacation home bike. So if you are following along with the channel, you'll note that I had a uh, 2016 Trek Madone 9 and I uh, had this 105 group set on it. I had my Robel CLX 64 wheels. Uh, but basically when I first got the Madone, I was comparing the geometry to my System 6 at the time, uh, but have since made some changes when I got my Factor Ostro. So I needed something with a little bit more stack. So I have this beautiful 2021 uh, LA Sprint in the uh, red uh, acid dip. So I'll get a little bit closer in a minute here. This is my third LA Sprint. I had a red hook crit in a size 56, a second gen, and I had a yellow uh, a sunburst orange, um, both with 105s and uh, both of this wheel set. So I, I love this bike um, and I was looking for another rim brake to replace that to keep my build down here in South Florida uh, inexpensive. Uh, so I'll just walk through the bike here. I will note that uh, GC Performance did build this bike as a frame up for me, did swap over the components uh, from my Madone. So I'll link his, uh, his video uh, in my description. Uh, so let's just kind of get through it. I apologize for the wind. It's a, it's a pretty windy day here in Florida, but basically it's a size 54. You'll note here, specialized in an acid dip treatment. So the carbon fork the bottoms are exposed carbon. You got here the raw aluminum. And what's pretty cool is that the, uh, the logo, right? The specialized decal um, was like basically like etched from the dip into this frame. So that is not decal here, that is just raw aluminum where the decal was. And then it fades into a gloss, beautiful gloss, like a, almost like a, a fire engine red here. So I'll go around the other side, you can see the massive smart welds on this raw aluminum frame. But nothing crazy here, we got Roval CLX 64, so still with the ceramic speed bearings, rim brake. Uh, love these wheels, had these wheels now for six or seven years. Uh, running Continental, 25 millimeter. GP 5000s with Challenge latex tubes, standard Shimano 105 single pivot calipers. We had a Zip Service Course SL bar in 42 centimeters. Zip Service Course SL stem in 100 millimeters. So here at the top, we got S Works Roman Evo saddle here, carbon rails with the carbon seat post clamp. Go straight down here, got a Shimano 105, 5236, mid compact chain ring, Shimano Dura Ace pedals with the four millimeter extension, 105 front mech, 105 short cage rear mech. And I do have here a diamond in the rough. This is a Altegra 1123 cassette. So for Florida, this is, this is a fantastic uh, cassette, very, very tight. You know, very fast rolling. You're not really doing too many climbs here at all. Maybe some some punchy roller here and there over a drawbridge, uh, but that's that's basically it. You can see here how the again the decal was etched when they dipped it for the LA, and then it continues into the gloss section. Pretty pretty cool. You got a Venge Vice seat post here. The Venge Vice clamp. Go around to the other side here. at my condo in Pompano Beach, Florida. Beautiful intercoastal canal inlet, canal uh, intersection here. So you'll see on this side, the smart welds are absolutely massive. The Delugio smart weld. I love this first gen LA. It's really, really nice. So we'll call it maybe, maybe it's, a, it's the second gen because uh, the first gen had the Delugio, but it wasn't so aero see the massive seat stay junction where they were welded. Seat tube into down tube. I mean, that's raw aluminum. Unpainted, unfinished, not clear coated. Got a rundle of carbon cages that are from my Madone. And what really makes this bike extra stiff is this is a BB30 bike, but it has a Praxis press fit internally threaded bottom bracket with enduro bearings. So, which makes this a lot stiffer than you would be if you were running just the wheels manufacturing uh, BB24 uh, extension cups with the Shimano 24 spindle. The Shimano doesn't seem to be as stiff as my other uh, dub and BB30 um, cranks, but this interface here with this bottom bracket and these cranks 
uh, make it an extremely stiff setup. So very, very pleased here, very, very happy. Those came in the frame that I got from a, a guy that lived in actually uh, Oregon. So this bike came from Oregon. I found it on Pink Bike. Got very, very lucky to find a 54 rim brake. There's really not a whole lot out there. Uh, scored an amazing deal on it and I uh, had to ship right down to uh, Florida. Keep it simple. And then I shipped over all my parts that I had at the house, some, some spare parts, and then of course the swap over from the Madome. So this bike came in with pedals, with cages, mount, um, basically as you see it here without the Garmin on the uh, mount at 17.08 pounds. Extremely light for an alloy bike with a, uh, a boat anchor Shimano 105 group set. But hey, listen, this is the people's group set, right? Works completely fine. The actuation, the uh, precise shifting, you know, I couldn't tell the difference between this and my Altegra R8000 mechanical I had on my uh, Red Hook Crip bike. So uh, great, great find here. Super excited about it having again uh, another LA here in Florida. And uh, yeah, uh, I do have uh, another bike to review. This has been an N plus two trip to Florida. So uh, stay tuned. I do have one more bike. This is a mountain bike uh, to hit up uh, um, Quiet Waters and Markham Park, which are pretty local to me here uh, in Pompano Beach, Florida, bordering Fort Lauderdale. So this is Fort Lauderdale and that side of the canal. And then this is Pompano Beach, my condo association here on this side. Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach. Thank you. Be well.